In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Forza Horizon 5 not launching on your PC or any game or any application. So we will have a quick checklist before anything else. First of all, we would like to check if our PC meets the minimum requirements. We would like to check if our Windows 10 or 11 fully updated. We would like to check if you are using a dedicated GPU, not just integrated graphics. We would like to check if DirectX 12 is installed and also if the visual C++ retributables uh, are installed as well. So first of all, if you have any .exe file, an example, whatever .exe file you have, make sure to right click on it and run it as administrator if it's not working normally. This will bypass the permission issues that blocks the launch. Also, we would like to disable the background apps and overlay. Just go and open your task manager and you can right click an example here and click on task manager and from here make sure to close msi afterburner reva tuner discord overlay seam overlay xbox game bar anything that you're not using just go and close it so also make sure to turn off any overclocking tools any insured launcher some background tools are known to conflict with forza horizon 5. also we would like to check if our drivers are updated you can go and uh, hit Windows X, go to Device Manager, make sure to go to Display Adapters, choose your uh, GPU, click on Update Driver, search automatically. If it's the latest, that's good. So, a driver update fixes 90% of startup crashes. Also, make sure to check for Windows updates. Go and open your settings, as an example. From there, you can go and click on Windows Updates, and you can go, for example, and check if they have any updates. If there are any updates, make sure to download them and install them. Once you install new updates, make sure to restart your PC, especially important ones if using Xbox apps or maybe some Game Pass versions. So for example, I do have some updates here. I'll need to wait for them until it's installed, then I'll have to restart my PC. Other than that, make sure to just reset the game from Microsoft Store or Game Pass. You can go to the settings and apps and install apps. You can search for whatever game you want or whatever app and click on advanced option, then click on reset or repair first, then reset if that fails. Because this will clear a broken cache data and data, of course, without deleting your save. Also, uh, some option that might work for you, especially if you uh, have it through Steam. So, for example, let me just go and open Steam. You can go and right click on any games and go to installation files and verify the integrity of the game file. So I don't have it installed at the moment, but I'll just go to my library. I do have here other games installed. So for example, this one, let's just do the same. So it's going to be properties. And from here, you can go to the installation installed files. And all you need to do is just click on verify integrity of the game file. And if there are any missing or corrupt files, it will be redownloaded. Make sure to also disable uh, antivirus rush file for firewall temporarily. Some antivirus tools blocks for the anti-cheat system. So try turn it off. Windows Defender Real Time Protection. You can go just go and open this. Go to this, right click, and all you need to do just go and click on View Security Dashboard. From there, just go and click on that option, and click on Manage Settings, and make sure to turn the Real Time Protection off for a second. Then once you open the game, if it opens, just come back and open it up. And if this is the option that works, you should do it every time you open the game. The last two steps in example is to sign up uh, or sign out and resign into the Xbox application. It might be an, an issue because sometimes Xbox Live syncing sometimes breaks and prevent launch. Also, make sure to try to use a clean boot as example mode. You can hit the Windows R and choose MS uh, config or type MS config. This will open this option. All you need to do is just go to the services tab and check uh, hide all Microsoft services. So Let's just look for hide all Microsoft services. So you may take a while to find it. And basically, once you find it, all you need to do, just go and disable it. So then you can go back to the startup. And here, as an example, you can click on Open Task Manager. 
and make sure to go to start that apps and disable every single one of them you can let's an example the security one uh, live or as you can see for me i disable per default everything i let just security and vanguard this vanguard because i need this for a game and yeah and you'll have to basically now restart your pc and try launching the game again so this will help find if startup service or apps is interfering also make sure that you install the last uh, DirectX runtime and make sure to reinstall also the visual c++ uh, re redistributable both for uh, x96 and uh, 64 and make sure your windows is activated for game pass version and check if you're using storage space or onedrive syncing that can block the fh5 as example safe access the last thing or the first thing that i should have tell you to check is the minimum requirement so you can check forza horizon as an example five and okay you can you, it doesn't type like that what so doesn't matter so minimum uh, minimum requirements so we're just going to see the minimum requirements and it should meet my requirements so for example you can use an app or this ai overview it's also up to you and you'll be able to see here the minimum so you should meet those minimum requirements if you have four uh, gigabytes of ram or something like that you'll not be able to run it you can even uh, you can also for example click on this can you run it and they will install a software in your pc and they'll show you exactly if you can run it or not if that's yes that means you you gotta have one of the issues that i mentioned before so that should be it for me in this video thank you for watching and goodbye